Hello. I am lying here with my hazel on the floor because this is <laughs> this is my living situation right now. Literally like a two inch air mattress. And these amazing cots there. Half my family's in a room. Anyways, I thought I'd jump on and say hello. I don't really have anything in particular to talk about in terms of recovery, but I did want to just say how grateful I am to be where I'm at in recovery and to be able to have big life changes such as moving and meeting new people and different environment and house and all the transition stuff that's going on. I'm so grateful that it doesn't impact my eating anymore. I'm so grateful that um, that part of my brain that was so tightly wired um, is no longer functioning that way. And all of that is honestly due to recovery. It's due to eating a lot, a lot, a lot of food to get my weight back to a place where my brain was functioning the best. And essentially that's your set point range. Um, it has nothing to do with a BMI chart. It has nothing to do with the size pants you wear. It's genuinely like when your mind is right, whatever body you're in at that point is the body that you're meant to be in. So, um, yeah, our move, uh, our house is, we're closing on our house in a couple weeks and then we can finally move all of our furniture over and I can sleep in a real bed. I'm very excited about that. The sleep lately has not been good. Um, and and then we're kind of in the process now of starting to build, which is very exciting, um, but stressful. So yeah, um, I do miss making videos, but I also just feel like I don't have like any brain space outside of like the essential things that I have to do from day to day lately to do that. But I have a feeling and I'm hoping I can't promise anything because I let people down. I tell my kids all the time when they ask for something, they'll ask me and you promise. I'm like, no, I will never promise. I don't promise anything ever because I feel like I can't always follow through with those promises and I never know how I'm going to feel when school starts. Maybe I'll need more time to just unwind, but I'm thinking that when school starts and I get back on a normal schedule that I'll start kind of being more mindful of making videos. Typically when I'm making them regularly, I'm kind of thinking, I just realized there's white noise in the background. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. I'll make this short. <laughs> um, typically when I'm making videos regularly, I'm kind of like, you know, as I'm coaching and kind of thinking about to certain like repeating topics that are coming up or I'm kind of like thinking of analogies throughout the day that kind of could apply to recovery and then making videos, but literally nothing, there's nothing going on in this brain <laughs> regarding, uh, recovery videos. I can turn it on when I'm talking to clients. I can still do that. But outside of that, I just, yeah, haven't been focusing much on any kind of content. So bear with me and I'll be back soon. I hope everyone is listening to other accounts that are making videos and hopefully you're finding those helpful because I am not, <laughs> I'm not contributing much these days, but I'm still here and doing well and um, we'll be back to more regular videos probably sooner than later. All right, have a good day.